Well, the fall quarter gets underway at UCLA today with students and staff back on campus. And CBS 2's Kara Finchstrom joins us now with a look at what's different amid COVID concerns. Kara, good morning to you. Good morning, DeBarco. Back to school certainly feels a little different for these college students, but those we spoke with said they are just grateful to be back to learning and experiencing all of college life in person. It's ready to get our season started and go Bruins. Bruin pitcher Max Rajic is visiting one of the campus's new hotspots, vending machines stocked not with drinks or snacks, but COVID tests. Students and staff simply swipe their IDs, complete the tests, and drop them in collection boxes. I think with the tests once a week, we're not sure yet, but just got to do a little spit tube and hopefully we all test negative. I'm definitely scared, but I think with all of UCLA's precautions, um, we should all feel safe. Hannah Huang works within the athletic department, so she'll visit the machines weekly too. But this year, most students are not required to test regularly. What they all must do with few exemptions is get vaccinated. Also required, wearing masks inside classrooms and common areas and completing daily surveys about symptoms. Last week, a medical expert told students such preventative measures greatly reduce the daily odds of suffering from a breakthrough COVID infection. It's one in 13,000 getting really sick. And 70% of breakthroughs 80% of deaths occur in the elderly population. Jenna Shindell hopes to finally experience her first largely normal year as a junior. It's just good to be back on campus after missing a majority of freshman year and all of sophomore year. Over the weekend, UCLA cheerleaders kicked off campus move-in days and orientations. UCLA reports 80% of this fall's classes will be completely in person and they get underway Thursday. And to Marco, this community coming back with some serious bragging rights. UCLA just named the nation's top public university for the fifth year in a row.